I feel like our president is not well prepared when he comes to these meetings. And yes, he is, all these antics are to distract from the real what's going on in in that meeting. Joe Biden, when you think of him, the first thing you think of is super sharp, sharp yeah, as a tack. right there. Uh, yep. Incredibly just ready to lead this country. Um, he showed that My again. My blood pressure is going up during this, during this episode of WJ Live. I just, each one of these stories is like, ah. I know. I know, I know. So he showed again how sharp he is. Um, this Monday, he was meeting with the outgoing Israeli president, whose name is Reuven Rivlin, and he made um, another one of his Biden-esque sort of awkward comments. I think we have a clip of that that we're going to show here. Well, I'm really happy to have uh, President Rivlin here, and uh, I don't want it's not technically appropriate, but I, I'm so delighted his daughter is here. She's in the back right there. And I got, to, I got to meet her and talk about our kids and grandkids and all the like. So he says, I know it's not incredibly appropriate for me to say this, but I'm really glad that the Israeli president's daughter is here. Unfortunately, once they got into the actual meat of the conversation, it didn't get much better for Joe. Um, he talked about um, one of the main issues that was facing uh, relations between uh, America and Israel, and that was the possibility of Iran getting a nuclear bomb. Oh, yeah. Um, he said, quote, Iran will never develop a nuclear weapon on my watch. Uh, and yet he didn't really provide any evidence as to why he believes that's the case. Of course, we have plenty of evidence to not believe that's the case, given that he wants to get back in an Iran nuclear deal, which will most likely result in them having nuclear power at the end of the decade when the deal expires. Um, so my question to you, Olivia, is... Are these antics, these these vague statements of they're never going to get a bomb, these bringing up women in the room, are, are they partly just a deflection by Biden because he doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to foreign relations? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that could be very true. When people don't know what they're talking about, they throw out random things and it makes them look even worse than they than if they knew what they were talking about. So it's very important. I feel like our president is not well prepared when he comes to these meetings. And yes, he is, all these antics are to distract from the real what's going on in, in that meeting. Yeah, which is not a whole heck of a lot and nothing good for the American people. Yeah, I think that's, that's the conclusion I would come to as well is that he doesn't have anything of substance really to say so he's kind of just throwing out there whatever comes to the top of his head. And that's never good, but especially for somebody like Joe Biden, we don't really want to hear what comes to the top of his head most of the time. So. <laughs> Guess he forgot that's what his a, handlers told, exactly. told him to say. Yeah, that's, that's probably true and terrifying, but true. Uh, uh, Joe, please. <laughs> just, I know you have people, Mr. President, I know you have people giving you advice. Please listen to them. <laughs> Please just listen to your people. If you're going to speak in public, just do what they tell you to do. They'll, they will take better care of you. Yeah, they're paid to, to know what you should and shouldn't say. Yeah. They, they like know what they're, they're doing. Uh, nursing assistant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> something. CNA, something. Yeah, you've got somebody there who can help you, I'm sure. Uh, can you imagine how much trouble I would get in if we, we came in here and I was like, I'm so glad to have Olivia on the show today. <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> creepy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Imagine if any any Republican, like everyone would probably point to Trump first, any Republican, like imagine just mm -hmm. a random congressperson making that statement. It would be well, like front page news sure, if that I mean, happened. Yeah. And, and we all know Trump didn't always have complete control over his mouth, but there was a big difference between the kinds of things he said in public and in what he said in private. That's not an excuse, but it shows at least an awareness of, you know, who you are on the world stage. Uh, you know, Trump was accused of saying some stuff before he became president. And look, we've all said stuff we regret. And, and that's what he said about those comments. Uh, Biden is the sitting president. <laughs> he was at a diplomatic function in front of the press. It's a totally, totally different situation. And the mainstream media will completely ignore it as they always do, uh, which is why we're here. That's why the Western Journal is here. 